to get the maximum work output we have seen that we have to raise the peak pressure and the second thing is we have to elongate the duration for which the higher pressure near to the peak pressure can be maintained while the piston is going down after it has passed the tdc and doing the work in turning the crankshaft now it is well understood that the generation of a higher pressure or a higher peak pressure can be achieved by using the method when the gases inside the cylinder are compressed the pressure at the topmost position of the piston is built up right in this position and when the piston passes the tdc and goes towards the bdc after that the pressure again decreases and it can be seen that when the volume of the gases being compressed is more the pressure at the tdc is more so what if the least amount of the gases are compressed let's say it is being compressed from this position so in that process when the piston reaches the tdc let's say here the pressure built up is less in comparison to the position for the volume of the gases is little bit more say from this position from this position when the gases are compressed now the pressure of the tdc will be more than the previous pressure when the gases were compressed from a little bit of lower volume and now if we raise the volume let's say from this position we keep on compressing the gases the peak pressure will now be even more than that of the previous pressure the peak pressure obtained depends upon the volume of the gases being compressed as the volume of the gases being compressed increases the peak pressure built up also increases so this concept is used to build up the various peak pressures if we inject the fuel at such a time that the volume of the gases is at this position the peak pressure built up will be of a very small amount and if we increase the volume let's say at this point and inject the fuel now if we keep on injecting the fuel compressing the gases the amount of the peak pressure will be little bit higher than the previous value when the injection of the fuel was from say this position and now let's say we increase the volume at which the injection takes place let's say at this volume if we inject the fuel at this volume of the gases inside the cylinder as the fuel is continuously injected all the way from this position to the position of the tdc the larger amount of the volume inside it raises the peak pressure built up in the cylinder so we have seen that the volume of the gases at which the fuel is injected decides the amount of peak pressure built up because when the fuel is continuously injected higher and higher amount of the fuel is burnt which causes the more and more amount of the combustion gases to be pressed upwards and thus 
causing the peak pressure to be rising. So this way we can raise the peak pressure by injecting the fuel at the rising volume of the gas resistance at the cylinder. Or in other words, earlier the positions of the piston at which the fuel is injected, more will be the pressure built up inside the cylinder. Or we can say that the fuel delivery has to be well in advance. So, more the volume, more is the peak pressure formed. And less is the volume at which the fuel is delivered, lesser will be the peak pressure generated. So, this way the peak pressure can be increased.